New developments today in a story we first shared earlier this month. Workers at a Starbucks in Scottsboro are continuing their efforts to unionize and corporate is taking action. News 19's Emily Mosner brings us the latest. The Starbucks here behind me is the only one in Scottsboro and it was closed all day on Tuesday. Now the signs on the door indicate that it's a temporary closure, but it comes as workers have been trying to form a union. Now I did speak with some of the workers here and they tell me that the closure today wasn't because of a strike. It's because of corporate. They decided to shut the store down so that we can try to have conversations with them, I suppose. They're trying to feed us false information. That's like their personal stories with unions, but it's not the same kind of union that we're in. It's mostly trade unions. Sierra Moore is one of the many employees behind a union effort at this Starbucks off of 72 in Scottsboro. She and many other employees tell me they want a union because they want to get their hours back. I have, you know, either 29 to 33 hours a week, and I used to be getting 38, 40. Um, so it's like a struggle to get my bills paid. <laughs> Another employee tells me they were abruptly dropped from being full time. They actually said that they don't have um, enough hours to give us. So instead of giving every partner that was full time a warning and like ways to get, you know, hours or money since we needed that. They just didn't schedule for 40 hours. Kelsey Lockhart says even with employees wanting more hours, this Starbucks specifically, I know for a fact is understaffed. Both employees tell me that they've gotten pushback from Starbucks about the union effort. In a statement sent to News 19 earlier this month, Starbucks said, quote, we've been clear in our belief that we are better together as partners without a union between us. On Tuesday, a large group of employees gathered in support of a union. Oh, I'm feeling like it's definitely majority that is in support of. We do have a couple that are, we're kind of like nervous about, but we're not forcing them to do it if they don't want to. The pro union employees tell me they hope to get a date set for that vote soon. They're hoping even to hear by the end of the week. Now, if they do vote in favor of forming a union, they'll be the second store in the state to do so. Reporting in Scottsboro, Emily Moser, News 19. And News 19 reached out to Starbucks for an updated comment on the situation and more on Tuesday's store closing. But so far at this time, we have not heard back.